we aren't wasting any more time. And he's stuck. This summer has been lush and full of life. We saw a bear. Even Brandon has a pep in his step. Making music. Together, we're making progress by leaps and bounds. Teamwork makes a dream work. Dreamers are what we are. <laughs> Even though the clock is ticking. Literally just sliding, oh my gosh. We can't help but wonder, should we have waited? The bucket hit a tree and it fell and it landed on the track, which is absolutely horrible. <laughs> What's up guys and good morning. I wish we were excavating today, but we're not because it rained a lot yesterday and it's supposed to rain a lot today, but we did get a new piece of equipment up here. We got ourselves a dump trailer so that we can quit having giant piles of garbage. Before it starts raining, we're gonna try and throw some ice and water shield up on this side of the garage. Uh, the ice and water shield we did in a previous video stopped all of the leaks that were coming into the man cave, so. Hmm. That was successful. Now we just need to finish doing the rest of the roof and then it can rain all at once. It cannot rain all at once. We need to excavate. Stop raining. It's like all of a sudden we're in the tropics. Yeah, the difference is here, like all of the ground is clay. Places where it rains all the time, those areas, the ground absorbs the moisture very quickly. Like it can dump and rain all day. And like the next day, a lot of times all the water has been absorbed and like it's not nearly as muddy as it is here like two days later with all of the clay. So okay. it's unfortunate, but we're not gonna let it keep us down. Yeah. I know you wanna go, but you have to stay inside. Yeah. You have to stay, you think you gotta stay, okay? Mm. If you saw our last video, you'll have seen that Lika got into it wasn't even a scuffle. Nothing even happened. She just tripped and slammed basically into a log. Nothing is broken. Nothing is fractured. Her tendons and ligaments are all in place, but everything is so sore, just so sore. She's still limping on that leg. She doesn't want to put much weight on that shoulder or her foot. Um, and she's still on some painkillers and we're trying really hard to just keep her calm and quiet and relaxed, which is so hard. She is the most energetic, happy, wild dog you can imagine. I'm seeing some improvements. The hematoma and like the huge swelling that she had has w gone way down, um, but you can tell it's still, it's painful and tender. So we're giving her lots of extra love and snuggles, but unfortunately she really does need to stay inside, which I know she doesn't like, but we're trying to keep her as low key as possible while she recovers. Grippy shoes had some mud on them, so I washed it off and they're still a little bit wet. So hopefully these will dry out in the next few minutes. And then uh, we're gonna jump up on this side of the roof, start throwing up our ice and water shield. Hopefully we can make quick work of this before it starts raining. But you know, if we don't do this, it won't rain all day. But if we start doing this, it's gonna rain in about five minutes. So <laughs> time is of the essence. Three days oh. since I used this ladder, and a bird has built a nest on top of the ladder. Wow! Are there eggs in there? That better not be. Don't don't tilt the ladder. Or else I can't use this. Where's the mama? No eggs. Okay, that's good. What do we do? I don't know. Just, Just leave it there. try not to tilt the ladder and try not to touch it. That's wild. It's been so wet that it's just like the greenest it's ever been. But also there are more insects and bugs and pot guts and squirrels and beavers. Uh, we saw a bear on our, uh, not on our property, but in our neighborhood. Pro a, bear? a bear. I'll show you the video. Yeah, it's a little scary. 
um, and hummingbirds and birds everywhere. Unfortunately, <clears throat> as much as I love all this wildlife, there is a woodpecker that keeps coming back almost every morning and pecking on our roof, which wakes us up at like 6 a.m. every single morning. That's the only, it's the only complaint that I have about all the wildlife up here. <laughs> um, I don't even know if he's like making progress. Is the woodpecker doing anything? Like, why is he even trying to peck through our house? I don't know, but he, he pecks on like the metal fascia. And I can't even find like where he does it. It's just really noisy. <laughs> Everything else is super cool. And even having woodpeckers around is cool. Just like, come on, man, like, please not on our house and not at six in the morning, please. <laughs> Fall off. Okay. Is to fall off? Not fall off. I appreciate that. Look at that beat. You like that? I like that. It's making music. <laughs> it's the anti rain dance. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, you guys are, um, it's river dance. Yeah. Two stepping. Trying to stomp the seams down so they stick. The other side wall. Whether they're full or not, we have three more rolls. Pull the remaining rolls really tight. Stretch them out. Hard yeah. Just to get them up here. I know. We'll probably do the rest of this roof and the cap piece. Okay. So well, we could make it. We'll probably be like one strip. <laughs> These guys are making progress and the rain has held off so far. It started to sprinkle for a minute and now it stopped. The issue that I think we might run into is they're gonna be a little bit short on the ice and water shield, like barely short enough that they won't be able to fully finish the roof, which is so annoying. We're so close. All right. There's what, two feet on either side of the cap that we don't have any ice and water shield for. So we've run out and it's not raining, which is great. Um, Home Depot's out of stock, everywhere else is out of stock. Trent actually has some on order with Home Depot, uh, but it hasn't even shipped yet. So hopefully that arrives soon. And in the meantime, at least the majority of the roof is iced and water shielded. I don't know, small win, not a full win, but we'll take what we can get. Hey, that's handy. You like that? I love that. Today we're gonna switch gears. We're getting rid of this giant pile of garbage. And honestly, after looking at it from up here, I don't think it's all gonna fit in there. No. But we're gonna fit as much as we can into the trailer, and then we're heading to dispose of it. There's a place I have found in the shade on the ground, far from a worries and troubling sound. The good news is the trash is all consolidated into one spot. The bad news is there's so much of it and I don't think we can use the machinery to load it into the dump trailer. So, here we go. No one can guess what I came there to see. There's a sun in the sky. There's a cloud drifting by. All kinds of birds make you wish you could fly. Yeah! Everybody did that. We all did it together. Teamwork makes a dream work. Dreamers are what we are. Oh, we are making 
a lot of progress here. We've got what feels like most of the pile thrown into the trailer, but in reality, it's probably only about half the pile. I really wanna clean this area up as much as possible so we can start removing dirt from different places and putting it over here so that we can actually pull like a trailer or a car and park them around the side of the garage and get them out of the way of the main part of the driveway. <sighs> but it's hard, man. It's not easy. Only me, no one can guess what I can right. We knew we wouldn't be able to get this all in one load but this puppy is full to the brim. <sighs> and I'd say we're about halfway done. We got all this stuff, we got all this space and nowhere to park anything. We gotta <laughs> shuffle things around every time we wanna move anything, so. Speaking of shuffling, are we full and taking off? What's happening? Yeah, I feel like the Beverly Hillbillies right now. We are extra loaded down, buddy. I bet they have that same haircut too. That's not fun. <laughs> gotta try this a new way. Gonna show you the tricks that I know I'm getting tired of talking And I need more of a show right now All right, what do you think? We're pretty full, we're pretty loaded down. We just made it to the dump. Last time we guessed way off. I'm going $32. 32? I think 52. I'm gonna say 46. Okay, we'll see. 28? <laughs> you can't change now. <laughs> We're all way off! Oh, it's no. It's because of the tires. Yeah. It's 80 bucks. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Tires are an extra charge? Yeah, they're five bucks a piece, so without the tires, it would have been 50 bucks. Oh, yeah. hey! That's cool. It's hard to say because the tires and rims weigh a lot. Right. Yeah, so yeah. Without the weight of the tires and rims and the $30 from the tires, it was probably about 46 bucks. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> course. The one day we pick to not be excavating and working outside, it has decided to be warm and sunny and dry. The weather is incredible. We should definitely be using the big machines and working outside. <sighs> but time just keeps getting away from us and now it's becoming late afternoon. I do think that we should take advantage of this weather a little bit and so I think we're going to do another big load as much as we can into this dump trailer. It's gorgeous out. It is, it's absolutely beautiful out here. I really wish we had some more ice and water shield so we could finish that because tomorrow when we do have more ice and water shield, it's probably gonna be raining, so. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, obviously the skid steer is making a mess, but this area is actually gonna get a bunch of new fresh dirt on it anyway, so I'm not worried about ripping up the ground. But what Trent was able to do was push everything a lot closer and like take it out of the mud that it's been submerged in for the last like six months or a year so that we can access it easier and just scoot it basically so much closer into the dump trailer. Worked well. Doggy towel to dry off the dogs. Oh, thank you. I don't know if you can hear the birds and the breeze and see the sun, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm feeling some excavation in our very near future. We're getting close. Right, Leo? Yes. A big rock. It's in the dirt. I don't think you can pick that one up. Dick? Didn't take very long and this dump trailer is almost full again. I can already tell this thing is going to be very useful. Are you wearing mama's gloves? 
We got everything loaded up into the trailer. The scrap wood and garbage pile is completely gone. We just have some wood over there that we're still gonna use in the future. So that's gonna stay over there. We've got everything loaded up and ready to go back to the dump for a second time, but we're gonna do that tomorrow. It's gonna do it for us today. I don't know if this looks familiar to anybody else, but when these dogs are sitting in front of me like this, it usually means it's dinner time. These guys are ready to eat, and today we are feeding them farmer's dog. We feed them farmer's dog every day, and today's video is sponsored by the farmer's dog. Probably the best thing about the farmer's dog is how easy they make it to give your dog amazing, fresh, delicious food. It's actually portioned out for each dog. So I cut this one in half, I give Frank that half, I give Lika one of these, and then later that day, Frank gets the other half and Lika gets another one of these. Frank and Lika are basically part of our family. And your family, you wanna feed good food so that they can be healthy, so that they can live a long time. Lika got injured recently and I wanna make sure that she has all of the vitamins and minerals and nutrients that she needs so that she can heal quickly, and I know she's getting a well-balanced diet from the farmer's dog. The farmer's dog actually makes their coats really nice and soft and shiny, and we've noticed a huge improvement in their digestion. The thing about farmer's dog is that it's actually real food. Like today, Lika's eating the beef meal here. It's got some vegetables mixed in with it as well, and Frank's eating the turkey meal. This isn't just some like, you know, brown dusty kibble that you don't know what's in it, even though it says, oh, it's like lamb or something on the recipe. Like. Who knows what's actually in it? This, this is real food. Okay. As you guys can tell, Frank and Lika absolutely love the farmer's dog. And if you guys wanna do something special for your dog, we highly recommend switching over to the farmer's dog food. And if you click the link in our description right now, you'll actually get 50% off your first box of their fresh, amazing food, and you get free shipping. So I wanted to say thanks again to the farmer's dog for sponsoring today's video. And we are gonna hit the sack. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. How are we doing? Oh, yeah. excellent. It's not raining. Not yet. You think it's about to? It's looking like it could. <sighs> I hope it doesn't rain because we're getting back up on the roof. We're gonna finish the ice and water shield today. And then maybe we got a big surprise that we're gonna start doing a little bit later. So Yay. very exciting. But first, let's finish this roof. Can you tell me what a cow says? <laughs> what does a cow say, Leo? Moo. What is that? Yeah. What? Oh my goodness. That's, is that a cow? What does a cow say, Leo? Leo's having a great morning hanging out with Sydney. We are AG1'd up, fueled, ready to go. Hopefully we can get this roof done quickly and move on to other things outside before it starts to rain. Feels, feels like rain is coming. So we're gonna move fast. They had a bunch in stock. They had two. Cool. That's all we needed. That's exciting. After some uh, frenetic research yesterday, these guys found two more rolls of the ice and water shield that we need in order to finish up the roof. Super, super exciting because it was really difficult to get anything in stock a couple weeks ago. So the fact that Brandon was able to just pick some up this morning is kind of amazing. literally have just enough with no inches of extra ice and water shield to spare. <sighs> all right, I'm gonna have to put you guys down. This takes uh, all of our energy and all of our concentration to get this stuff to go down without sticking to itself. Just like that, the roof is completely waterproofed. It only took, what, like seven months for that to happen because we couldn't do it at all during the winter, but it's done. It's leak proof, it's watertight. I'm extremely happy we got it done before it started raining. 
And it seems to be nice enough weather right now that we might be able to get a little bit more done outside before it starts to rain. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, it's been raining like every day. Yesterday was supposed to rain and it didn't, so that was really nice. But <laughs> there's a couple of puddles here and there, but for the most part, the ground is really starting to dry up. So I think uh, it's been a long time coming, but I'm gonna jump back in the Mini X. I'm gonna go behind the house. I'm gonna move the rest of these boulders that are behind the house, and maybe start digging around a little bit. Cool. To give you a little bit of perspective, there's a couple puddles, but until like last week, the ground was just bubbling. There was just like waterfalls coming out of the ground, little streams coming out of the dirt everywhere because the ground was just so saturated. Now there's like superficial water puddles from where it's rained recently, but the ground itself is a lot more dry. So I think we can make some real progress today. <laughs> literally just sliding oh my gosh i don't know if you can tell but that that elbow was like six inches from the roof line of the sunroom and he's stuck self-rescue attempt number one all right nice trend it's still very wet we're not going to get a lot done but we're going to try to make a little bit of progress and go get down i know i might be headed for tears now that you got me started i just I feel like I say this every time, but I'm so impressed with Trent's ability to do this with precision and meticulousness and just do it well. It's still pretty wet, um, but more than half of the boulders have been moved and he's starting to kind of scrape the top layer of dirt down. It's pretty cool. That's one corner. And then it goes a little bit past the sunroom. It'll be a lot of dirt to remove because it's on like a steep embankment and there's just a lot that has to get cut down to a certain grade. And then you have to grade away from the structure as well. And a little bit bigger than the perimeter for like backfill and concrete and all that stuff. But actually I don't think it's gonna be terrible because there's no basement. And when we were excavating for the house, we had to excavate the entire footprint down like 10 or 12 feet so that we could lay gravel and grade it and have concrete for the basement. So I think this will actually be much less work. I don't want to jinx myself, but hopefully it'll be a lot easier than we're expecting and a lot faster than we're expecting. If it can just get a little bit drier, we can move really fast. This is awesome. Trent is making huge moves on moving that entire boulder wall, clearing a path behind the house. It's pretty soupy, but it's not stopping him. In the meantime, I think Brandon is in here. Oh gosh. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Getting set up to insulate. Oh yeah. The itchy and scratchy show. That's, that's the name of the game today. <laughs> Coming to a town near you. Get it done. First casualty. Oh boy. starting to worry that we're not gonna get this done or dried in by winter, which is really the goal here. We wanna get everything framed and fully dried in by snow, which is a gamble when it would happen. Maybe it's November, maybe it's December, maybe it's October. I just know that every day that passes is a day we could be working and the weather has been against us recently. So 
The fact that Trent has already made so much progress in just like an hour of work. All of the boulders are cleared. He's already been able to drive all the way around the back of the house. <sighs> I'm excited to see what can happen if we do like an hour of work a day for the next week or so, especially if the weather continues to get better and drier. It looks really good. I think it looks terrible, I'm making a mess. Look at this, it's dry, it's soft. Yeah, the clay looks okay. But it's dry, yeah. The top is where the chocolate is. <laughs> Pretty gross back there. Uh, the issue that I was just realizing is I need the skid steer on that side of the garage with the bucket. And if I keep pushing dirt down there, I'm not gonna be able to get the skid steer back over. Mmm, ooh, good thinking. Back over to get the bucket. So I'm gonna drive over here. Actually, I'll go drop all that lumber off and then I'm gonna go grab the bucket and maybe start moving some of this. We got a windows down, driving down the 405, sing along to the radio. Make it someday. Nothing's gonna get in our way. We will be the biggest band in town. Mm -mm. Round and round the world we'll go. Putting on the greatest show. So make sure that you don't miss out. Just be there. We're taking our shot. Wow. Flat, smooth, more usable space. This is very much needed, and I'm really happy about it. Brandon is in here making tons of headway on the insulation. This room is looking unbelievable. Hey. Itchy and scratchy show. <laughs> the hardest wall. Oh yeah, because of the angles? Yeah, the angles and all the plumbing and all that crap. Yeah. The These ones should go faster. If anyone can get this done quickly, smoothly, correctly, it's Brandon. He is, uh, it's this guy right here. <laughs> All right, well, uh, once Brandon finishes up this room, then this whole main level of the garage will be done insulating. Um, we're trying to get concrete scheduled for in the next like couple days or a week. Of course, because we need concrete, now there's a backup or like a shortage of concrete. Are we surprised? No. So hopefully in the next couple days, we'll get some concrete. And once that's poured, we can hang someone, not us, can hang drywall and get the rooms basically finished. It's pretty close. Boy. Okay. Starting to feel the first couple sprinkles of rain, which we expected would happen, but if that is actually the case and it's going to rain, at least we got a lot done. Yeah, it's raining. It's definitely raining now. <laughs> Coming down. Trent is trying to wrap up. The only problem is one of the boulders fell down this little hill and is blocking the skid steer. And he needs to move the boulder in, in order to use the skid steer to keep moving dirt for the mini -X. But he can't reach it. Oh no. difficult because there's like all these giant boulders behind the house and I don't need to just like pick them up and move them I have to like pick them up and move them like four times to get them like actually out of the way 
And one of the like biggest ones that I was trying to pick up and move as I was like trying to go around, like the bucket hit a tree and it fell and it landed on the track, which is absolutely horrible and is probably really bad. But it ejected my full Dr. Pepper out of the cup holder onto its lid. So now there's Dr. Pepper everywhere. <sighs> I didn't know that. Now it's raining. It just keeps raining and keeps raining and keeps <laughs> raining. So I wanted to get some of this done or at least like start making some progress. I moved a bunch of dirt from over here to the other side of the garage so that we can make like a parking spot around the corner over there on the far side of the man cave. And that's also a lot of work is just moving that dirt back and <laughs> forth. So I'm probably going to go jump in the skid steer and keep doing that and move this, you know, next mountain of dirt that I've made here to that side of the garage and uh, try to level that out a little bit. So just a lot of driving machines today. What's your favorite thing? It has been a pretty gnarly couple days. <laughs> gnarly because of the rain, which like the rain has gotten me pretty discouraged, but I'm really happy that one, yeah. we got the ice and water shield done. Two, now we have a dump trailer so that we can just take garbage and scrap wood and everything else to the dump as soon as we need to so we don't have to have any more piles of stuff piling up so like things can be more organized. I was able to get the excavator back behind the house and make a little bit of chocolate <laughs> and like play around in the mud. Hopefully uh, it completely dries out soon and we'll actually get to start excavation because I am very, very excited for that. Yeah, so much progress. We finished insulation. We're almost ready for concrete. Things are happening. Good times are on the horizon and uh, we're having a good time anyways. So hopefully it dries out soon. And like yeah. I said, then we can get into real excavation. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to the Farmer's Dog for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Bye.